This low temperature Stirling engine was designed on a CAD system, and then the majority of the engine was printed on a Stratasys 3D printer. The 3D printer uses the company's fused deposition modeling technology, an additive manufacturing process. The 11 parts required for this engine were printed using ABS material. The ABS material limits the maximum temperature to around 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Other printed plastics having temperature limits up to 372 degrees Fahrenheit could be used in the future. Most of the engine parts that were not printed were off the shelf, such as machine screws, nuts, washers, ball bearings, and O-rings. There were some exceptions. I needed a power piston and cylinder that would provide both a good seal and low friction. These were the only parts requiring machining on a lathe. A few pins and shafts were required. A crankshaft spinning on ball bearings was used to minimize friction. The thermal conductivity of ABS is about 1 500th that of aluminum, so it's great to use for insulation, but not very good for thermal conductivity. The hot and cold plates require good thermal conductivity, so they were made from aluminum. For the displacer, I used a 3D printed part for a relatively close fit in the cylinder body, plus four non-printed polyurethane foam discs. Some of the printed parts needed to be drilled to exact size, where precision holes were required for press fits and slip fits of shafts and pins. The as-manufactured placement of the undersized holes provided pilot holes, simplifying the process of finishing holes. This engine will run from a variety of heat sources, such as hot water, an incandescent lamp, or a coffee cup warmer. I use a dimmer circuit to adjust the heat level. A candle would provide far too much heat. The unloaded engine will start running with approximately a 45 degree Fahrenheit temperature differential. The maximum unloaded speed I have measured is 468 RPM. Power measured at the flywheel is about 15 milliwatts at 175 RPM. 